Hey guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be episode 3 of K-Pop Storytime. I apologize for not having an intro made for this video. I have just been super, super busy, as well as not really feeling that well uh, lately, so I haven't been able to make an intro for this video, but I still wanted to release this video on time because I enjoy making these K-Pop Storytime videos, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Today we're going to be talking about the third generation girl group Flash, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and start where it all began when Flash debuted. Flash debuted on July 4th, 2012 with their single Drop It Pop It under CGM Entertainment. The digital single release also included the B-side, Bounce Bounce. The original group lineup consisted of five members, Nade, Choa, Gaal, Sohee, and Songhee. However, shortly after the group's debut, members Choa, Gaal, and Sohee decided to leave the group for unspecified reasons. In 2013, three new members, Sua, Goon, and Yeji would be added to the lineup alongside the two original members, Nade and Songhee. The group made their first comeback on October 1st, 2013 with the digital single, Oh Ye Yo. The single also included the B-side, Superstar. On January 3rd, 2014, the group released a rock version of Oh Ye Yo, following it up with the ballad track The Flowers on April 30th, 2014. On May 19th, 2014, the group released their fifth digital single titled Hey You. Shortly after their comeback with Hey You, member Song Yi left the group due to health issues. Flash would also later leave CGM Entertainment. Flash was now under Flash Entertainment, and on January 7th, 2015, the group made a comeback as four members with their sixth single, My Day. Even though I wasn't a fan of Flash for a long time, I'd personally like to think that this lineup with Nade, Sua, Gon, and Yeji was probably the most recognizable lineup for the group since it was probably the lineup that stayed the longest out of the group's entire career. The release also included the B-side track, You Are That Person. On July 29th, 2015, Flash released their first special summer single, The Star of Stars. On January 7th, 2016, the group made a comeback with their digital single, Lip Balm. The single's concept was radically different from their previous releases. All of their previous songs were cute, fun, and even innocent in some ways. Lip Balm was the complete opposite, giving the group a more mature and sexy look and sound. On August 8th, 2016, they returned to their cute concept with the single Cutie Girl, also known by its alternative title, Ipin Girl. Sometime after their comeback with Cute Girl, members Sua and Goon decided to leave the group. Shortly before the group's comeback in 2017, two new members, Minso and Yedin, were introduced through teaser images on August 24th and 25th of 2017. 
Flash released their third special album, Flash Season Album, with the title track Popping on August 28th of 2017. In early 2018, member Yeji decided to leave the group for unspecified reasons. The last post mentioning her was on January 9, 2018. She was then quickly replaced by new member Sejong, even though she was never officially introduced. On July 3rd of 2018, Flash made a comeback with their fourth special release, Baby Lotion. On September 26, 2018, it was confirmed that Minsil had left the group due to a back injury. She would be later on replaced by a new member named Sujin on November 8, 2018. Flash would also no longer be under Flash Entertainment. It would join Play Music Entertainment in 2019. On July 16, 2019, the group released their first mini-album, Talk, through a crowdfunding campaign through the platform Culture Bridge. The release did not include any new tracks besides their title track, Talk. All of their past title tracks would serve as B-sides on the album. As far as my research went, it seemed that Talk Era was one of Flash's most active comebacks as they promoted on music shows for over a month. On January 31st of 2020, the group posted on their official fan cafe that they would be disbanding on February 1st, 2020, after member Nade, who was the only original member of the group since 2014, decided not to renew her contract. Following the announcement, the members posted goodbye letters, thanking fans for their support throughout the years. In conclusion, Flash was a girl group that was active for over 8 years. It amazes me that they were basically one of the first third generation girl groups and were active all the way into the fourth generation. I do however understand why the group never received any attention. The group seemed to have a very unsteady budget when it came to their music videos, promotions, and music overall. It also could have been the fact that this group had constant member changes. The group had a total of 14 members within its time. That's a ridiculous amount of members to go through, although that isn't the largest number we've seen in K-pop. Personally, I became a fan of the group towards the end of their talk promotions, and Lip Balm was another one of my favorite songs from Flash. Nade, who was the sole survivor of the original lineup, is currently a content creator on YouTube. She also does some modeling as well. Anyways guys, that was my K-pop story time episode 3 on Flash. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I do apologize once again for not doing a proper intro or outro. I've just been so busy and I'm actually driving back home as we speak. So it's been really busy and I, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, I still wanted to get a K-pop story time out for this month. And even though it was definitely a lot more shorter, than I had hoped for. I hope that you guys still enjoyed it. And I promise you guys that for the month of, what is it, those December, December? Yeah, month of December, I will definitely try and make a longer K-pop story time episode, hopefully on a group that has more of a history. Because another thing too about Flash is even though they have eight years of history of being a group, since they are an underrated and unknown group, it was kind of difficult to get information about them, especially since most of them didn't have any other idol experience prior to being in Flash. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my social media links in the description below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys all in my next K-pop storytime video and reaction video. Bye, guys!